How you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. So we're all uh, stackers. <laughs> we stack silver. We've been stacking silver for as long as you've been stacking silver. You're a silver stacker. So you need to understand how to sell your silver because at some point, either ourselves or whoever we leave our silver to, they're going to become a silver seller. So it's it's uh, important to educate yourself and at least understand what goes into sell your silver, what to look for, how you can get the best value out of selling your silver. So that's what this series purpose was. And I hope I answered a lot of those questions for you. Talking to my local coin store owner, uh, Phil, down at uh, Franklin Street Coin. So we're going to continue that series today. This is the last video. And the question today is when is a good time to sell you? So Phil's going to talk about that for us. And he's going to um, share some of the information that he's gained from uh, being in the business so long. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. fear that everybody has uh, is, am I selling too low? You know, as we see silver go up and you don't have a set time to sell or a set dollar amount to sell uh, that you want to sell at, then the question always is, should I sell today? Because where's silver headed? Is it going to go down? Is it going to go up? And I think the problem with not having specifics or setting specifics for yourself is that you're going to beat yourself up. Um, one way or the other. If you sell it today, there's a reason to beat yourself up tomorrow. Um, you know, or it might go up, you're going to beat yourself up. If it goes down, you say, well, uh, you know, I should have held on and bought more tomorrow and then I would have had more, you know, to, to move forward with as it, as it moves back up. But it's just a matter of personal preference. I, mean, I, I don't think there really is a, a, a perfect answer for that unless it fits, um, you know, somebody's individual need. Some people have a set amount. Uh, I had somebody come in yesterday that said, um, you know, I'm going to sell when it doubles. Well, um, they bought years ago, and it, yesterday for them, they had some gold coins and some silver that had doubled since when they bought it. So they came in and sold it. They didn't need the money. They didn't have any reason to sell it other than they set that particular goal as I want to double my money. Now that's a that's a unique situation because it's hard, uh, honestly, right now to say I'm going to double my money in the bullion market. That's either a long wait or you're very lucky is when you got into the silver market uh, and it happened to take off right after you got into it. So that's that's kind of unattainable as far as I'm concerned as far as doubling your money, but I'm sure you could uh, if you hold on to it long enough. I'm sure there will be opportunities down the road from today. Mm -hmm that you'll probably be able to double your money. Maybe not in gold, but certainly in silver. Mm -hmm. Other reasons, um, you know, some people just have a financial need for the money. They have a better use for the money than having it sit in the silver and gold right now. For example, um, they might have an opportunity to uh, put a down payment on something that they've, they've been wanting. They might have had an opportunity to buy something they've always wanted where the price is a, at a point where they feel comfortable in purchasing whatever it is they want. And so they sell their silver to put it in some other asset. Uh, then they don't they don't think about it as um, taking the money and not doing anything with it. They actually take the money and do something they want with it. So that's, that's the other reason is the fact that you actually want something and you're gonna take the silver and just assign the money to some, some other cause uh, or asset, whatever you want to do. You may not be the person that's sitting there doing the calculation on, you know, I need to make a certain percent. And you, you, you've got, you know, your, your table where you know what your average cost per ounce is and what you, you know, what, mm -hmm. what you want to make on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's those people out there, but there's also people that just, you know, I've got $20 in this. How much you give it today? And, you know, mm -hmm. dealer tells you, well, I'll give you 25 for it today. And, well, I make $5 and they're thrilled. There's some people that have enough that they could sell on a regular basis, like on a monthly basis, where it's like I'm going to sell 100 ounces a month and I'm going to use that as income. Regardless of what silver price is, it, you know, I'm going to sell on the That's 30th. That's where I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> on the 30th of the month, I'm bringing 100 ounces to this to this dealer and I'm selling it regardless and that's going to be part of my income for the mm -hmm. month. I'm going to live off of that. 
Well, first of all, you have to stack a whole lot of silver to be able to do that or exactly. have a finite amount of time that you're going to do that for. But like when you retire? When you retire, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my goal there. Yeah. So, and I do have some you know, people that are doing that. I mean, they, they just want to say, I, I don't care what the price of silver is. What I want to do is have it as a financial income where I go grab 100 ounces or, you know, whatever, how many ounces they want to sell on, on a routine basis. And they go out and sell it, and they use the money as income. They they've already put that money away; it's their money. They put it in you know another form. They put it in silver or gold or whatever, and they just do it on a regular basis, and it provides an income for them, uh, regardless of the price at the time. The key, I think, is knowing what you want to do with it in the future, and and understanding that it's going to be put back today for financial reasons in the future, and. You don't have any control of that, and no one has control of that. So if you're going to do it today, understand that there's a risk involved, but at the same time, if you don't do it today, where else are you going to put your money? Yeah. So I think this all goes into play in the, in the original question is, when do you sell? Well, um, it's your goal. It's the individual goal that you set for yourself. And, um, you know, the immediate reasons to sell, I think we mentioned, is for, for which we never want to have to sell for. And, I mean, dealers really don't like to see it as... as people that come in that have to sell their silver because mm -hmm. of a financial crisis that they have, you know, but mm -hmm. it's nice to have when you have those, right. but at the same time, um, it's not the perfect reason to sell because, um, you know, it's usually, you haven't timed that, and right. financial crisis never time themselves correctly. As a dealer, I don't like to see somebody coming right. in because obviously a financial crisis means there's something in their life that's right. not working well for right. them right now. Yes. It's money that's basically in the bank that you can always cash out and right. at the same time uh, you can find yourself um, you know, in a situation where you have cash when normally you wouldn't have had cash right. you know, if you hadn't saved it. And then obviously, like I say, you just kind of watch the market and you feel good about making a little bit of money. That would be an immediate sale. You just make a few dollars on the silver that you just bought, you know, last month or last, mm -hmm. last year. Um, but then, the, like I say, the third reason being just the fact that, you know, it's, you set a price. You, 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 but that's a more of an immediate goals. I mean, you set mm -hmm. prices at sell points that, you know, 25, 30, 35, 40, right. whatever, whatever it is. Um, and you take that money and you sit on it and you think you're going to go back and re repurchase silver. Mm. And so I guess so the bottom line is yes. I guess the ideal time is when you're ready to sell it. That's the ideal yeah, time I mean, when, you've, yeah. when you've reached the goals or whatever uh, sale points you've, you've created for yourself. <clears throat> and like you said, each one of them is individualized and different. Yeah. Um, but it's when you are ready to sell is when the ideal time is. So there's no perfect time. Your time is the perfect time. Your yeah. time when you're ready, yeah. Yeah. and not so much when you have to, but when you when you're ready to. If you plan on selling at a certain price point, then mm -hmm. look for that price point and you know go sell a little bit and be happy. All right, Phil. Well, that completes this series. I mean, we're going to be talking about other things in the future, but I'm going to end this video here now, and I'm going to buy me some silver. You guys will see that when I get back to the to the house. And uh, thank you for your time, okay, Phil. I appreciate, appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. All right, so if you're like me, you're not even really considering selling your silver right now. My silver really is for my retirement, um, so I'm not interested really in selling that right now. What I'm interested in is, is how to sell it. I mean, these things need to be developed now, and it really is about connections, knowing who you can sell to, who you can trust to give you a fair price, and understanding what a fair price is. And so I hope this series helped you out with a little bit of that. I mean, if it didn't answer your question, at least it, it, hopefully it pointed you in the right direction so you can find these answers out for yourself. But be thinking about that. And especially now with silver on the rise, a lot of people are thinking about, you know, using some of their silver. I mean, selling some of their silver and getting that profit that, that they've earned in stacking their silver from, let's say, three, four years ago. Um, you know, they're, they're thinking about that. So this series is meant to help you if you are thinking about that. So anyway, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and ring that bell. You'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. And you might consider sharing my video with people who may be interested in this subject or would just like silver stacking videos. Anyway, I got some exciting things coming up in the future. I don't want this video to go too much longer, uh, but I think I, I teased you a little bit in my last video. So I got some collabs coming up with some of my fellow YouTube stackers out there. I think you guys are really gonna benefit from it and you're really gonna um, be interested in it. So, you know, let's just keep the silver train rolling. If you gotta go outside, I know I'm sounding like a broken record, 
Please wear a mask. It's that important. And let's just take care of each other. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.